Hey everybody, it's Nate here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to do a quick video on anxiety and depression. And it's really dear to me as I kind of went through a season in my life where I was dealing with anxiety and depression every day. Uh, it was a period of about, about a year where the thoughts I was dealing with were very degrading and, and pulling me down. And I just wanna share a, a, just a few scriptures, just a few words uh, from the Bible that really encourage me and transform me on the inside. And I really pray that they do the same thing for you, that, that you move to the next level as well, because there is more ahead. And there is another season coming where you can dream again. And that's really what I felt like is for, compared to then to now is that I feel like I can dream again. I can dream, dream bigger. And um, the first scripture is Proverbs 4.20. It says, my child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and they are healing to their whole body. So God's word has healing on its own. And one thing that we don't, we don't really need to worry about is the working on our own, the, the struggle to have that happen on our own, because God's word itself has power on its own. It has healing power. It's kind of like if you have a friend over, you know, you're not worried about um, talking for them. They have their own conversation. They have their own interests. And, and when they come over and you sit down and talk, you are, um, you're, it's a privilege and it's, a, it's an honor to have them because of what they bring to the table and what they're talking about and, and the, the companionship that they bring. And that's what God's word is. It has its own power. It has its own healing. But when we allow it, to come into our life, that healing begins in us and that healing starts to happen within us. The healing happens in our bodies, it happens in our minds and it happens in our soul because God's word has that. You know, Jesus says in John 6, uh, 63, the words that I speak to you are spirit and life. So even Jesus said that his words are life to us. There's so many references in the word about the life of God happening through the Word of God. Because really, Jesus is the Word. It says that in John 1. But for me, I would I had been a Christian for a long time. I had known lots of scripture. And what I came to realize is that you can know things, that, you can know things that are in the Bible, but until you act like they're true, you won't experience the benefit of them. And for the longest time I was I've heard all those scriptures, but my thought life was so um, was so wrong. It was so um, it was very low, and so when I started to take what God had said, and instead of just you know people say get in the Word, you know instead of just getting in the Word, I was praying and asking God, I want the Word to get in me. I want you to do what you want to do in my life. I don't. I'm not concerned with me trying to do something that's that Christians do. I want Christ to do something within me. And that was the, the really the, what changed the whole situation because as I started to dwell in my thought life, I started to dwell on his words. You know, that changed how I approached God and how my relationship was with God because that was the most important thing for me was that the place of anxiety and depression affected my relationship with God and how I approached God. It was always coming from a place of, of defeat. It was always coming from a place of that I wasn't enough. So therefore, when I come to God, I can't bring him a joyous praise. I can't bring him a thankfulness because I was so concerned. It was almost like I felt like I wasn't there yet, that I wasn't saved yet, that I wasn't free yet, but yet I was. And so as the word began to do a work in me, I started to realize that I needed to act on it. And so when I came in, you know, to pray and to, to hang out with God, I decided to act like the word was true. And I started to make praises to God as if I was already free, to bring joyous praises to God as if what he said was true. And that changed after a few weeks of doing that, that completely changed uh, what I was feeling on the inside. It was like, I, I remember distinctly one day, one morning where I was make you know, just, just 
bringing God praise, whether I felt like it or not, just bringing him a joyful praise uh, based on what he had said. And all of a sudden something clicked in me where what I was, what was going on the inside finally changed. It's almost like it, it got into alignment with what I was doing with my, with my head and with my mind, because at the time, you know, it was kind of like I was jump, it was like I was jumping off a cliff. It was like I was jumping out in faith, but God was there to catch me. And I just want to encourage somebody with that today. There's a really one more scripture I want to share. And that is in first uh, Peter two verse two. It says, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Don't worry about you growing it. Don't worry about you working it. You and you and I grow by the word. The word has power on its own to help us. Jesus said in John 14 that I'm gonna send you the Holy Spirit, the helper, and he's gonna help you. A lot of people don't realize that what they need the most is God's help. We're so prideful sometimes, we're so arrogant sometimes to think that I have it on my own, that I can do this. God wants to help you today. God wants to encourage you today. God wants to be that backbone for you. Don't ever think that that's a weak thing for you to rely on God. Because when you rely on God, the world gets to see the glory of God. So I just want to encourage somebody with that today, that it's time to move on. It's time to get into that next season of dreaming again. And uh, be blessed, and I hope to see you in the next video.